So we're basically making our own double boiler here by having a pot of water, and I've got about two inches of water in there that I've heated up. I'm setting a bowl over the top, and that'll keep some um, distance between the heat and the egg yolks, which we need to cook this really gradually. So what I'm gonna do is whisk this constantly till I've got a nice heated up fluffy mixture. You can see it's already taking on air. See those big bubbles we've got? Pretty soon those big bubbles are gonna turn to fine bubbles as the yolks really start to heat up. And if your right arm gets tired from whisking all the while, you can always switch to your left hand. It's not always as, it feels a little awkward when you switch, but it gives your right arm a little break and then you can switch back to the right arm. So go ahead and just keep whisking this. It's gonna take about five or six minutes till it's nice and fluffy. It'll look like a hollandaise, but more like a sweet hollandaise. I just wanna show you, it's getting really nice and fluffy, but if I whisk away that fluff, you can kind of still see that it's liquidy at the bottom. So we haven't cooked all the way through, even though we've already gotten a good bit of volume there. I think this is done, but let's give a check. The way that I tell is I see if I've got some trails left behind from the tines of my whisk. And also, I'll lift some of it up and kind of let it flow from the whisk and see if it's really thick and you know not so liquidy looking, but really fluffy. And you can see how much volume we've got. It's almost tripled in volume. So this looks done to me. Let's take it off the heat. There we go. And if we didn't whisk it all the time, you know, you'd end up with sort of scrambly, chunky, uh, sweet egg yolks, which we don't want. When you are whisking, though, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can whisk in a circle. You can also whisk in a figure eight. So when I went to French pastry school, that's how they had you whisk. The only thing about whisking in figure eight is you might notice I never really touch over here. And I never touch over here. I sort of miss the waist of the figure eight. So that's why I like to do figure eight, then maybe go around, then go the other direction, then switch hands. <laughs> I bet your right hand's as tired as mine is right now. But this looks beautiful. And as this cools a little bit, it's going to stiffen up even more.